As you can see behind me, traffic's flowing over Bozeman Pass on I-90. But just 24 hours ago, cars were stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic for nearly 24 hours. Have you ever seen anything like this? I have not. <laughs> nope. Nope, I haven't. I, you know, I've been with the sheriff's office for 16 years, and I can't remember a time uh, where I-90 was closed that long. Almost 24 hours. That's how long I-90 was blocked, from 10.30 p.m. Tuesday night to around 10 p.m. Wednesday night. We started getting phone calls about midday about people having issues running out of water, they didn't have food, um, and then other vehicle issues. Traffic began piling up after two semis jackknifed on Bozeman Pass, blocking the interstate. Boxmeyer tells me search and rescue was asked to step in around 12 p.m. Wednesday after morning commuters piled up, causing the situation to worsen. Because law enforcement wasn't able to get to most vehicles, search and rescues used ATVs to assist trapped motorists, offering hundreds of people food, water, and gasoline. Some of those people were saying that they'd been stuck up there for over 15 hours, so. Boxmeyer tells me search and rescue officers even had to evacuate multiple mothers with infant children, abandoning their cars to later be towed. Many people have shared their frustration with Montana Department of Transportation, wondering why the highway was not closed prior to the storm or sooner after the blockage. Ted Jones, the Bozeman Division Maintenance Chief for Montana Department of Transportation, says they could have done a better job. A lot of people were curious as to like, why you didn't close the highway prior to the snow starting. Yeah, it, it, was, a, it was a quick, rapid, um, E event that um, developed for us and the you know we acknowledge that we can we can make improvements there and apologize for the inconveniences that it did have to the public. Jones tells me this storm was out of the ordinary due to how much heavy wet snow fell in such little time. It was difficult to keep up with on for a you know a storm to that magnitude. Jones says because there were so many semis that got stuck going over Bozeman Pass, snowplows were unable to clear the road, one even sliding off the side of I-90. Um, around 2 in the morning, we had several of our snowplows that were uh, essentially trapped in the queue there and could not get out to help continue maintaining the road and, and traffic continued to back up. By Wednesday night, the interstate was back open in both directions. And although the sheriff's office is calling this a historic blockage of Bozeman Pass, search and rescue has this advice. I would recommend make sure you have water, food, and blankets or anything to stay warm should your vehicle run out of fuel. In Bozeman, Cassidy Powers, MTN News.